Hey guys, it's a little windy here. We're still at the um, American World War II Cemetery here in Manila. Um, we're gonna walk around this loop here and try to give you guys a real feel for this here. Okay, they're doing a little bit of work here. But anyway, I'm trying to pan slow here so it doesn't hurt your eyes. And you get to see more too. Pax, we'll walk up and around. Yeah. You might hear a little bit of wind here, guys. It's a little windy here today. Um, that's like the chapel up there, I guess, guys. This is amazing that I'm looking at all these crosses and each one of these represents an American that passed away or, or Filipino, which was an American also. I mean, there's just thousands of them, thousands of these little crosses and stars. It just goes on and on. But I'm gonna keep walking to the top of the hill here. And we're gonna walk around, guys. It's gonna take me a while. I wanna let the camera run for a while so you guys get a feel for how many people actually are here. Just in Manila alone. I'm sorry for the wind, guys. It's such a beautiful cemetery too, and it's right in the middle of the Tagig part of um, Manila. And the gardening and stuff is just impeccable. I'm gonna walk up above later on through more some cemetery, some more cemetery stones, guys, so you can see that too. And as we go along, I'm gonna to try to focus in on one or two of the stones. Thomas Setzer, first lieutenant. Missouri, October 16, 1944. John P. Walsh, PFC, 148th Infantry, 37th Division, Massachusetts, March 5th, 1945. Walter Madsen, PFC, 127 Infantry, 32nd Division, Wisconsin, January 4th, 1943. I want to take you guys all the way through here and all the way around this loop because and this loop is big guys it's it's just 
amazing how many people are here. I've been to um, Arlington National Cemetery before, and I don't know which, which is bigger. I was a kid when I went to Arlington National Cemetery. I was a little boy, and I know there was a lot of people buried there. But for some reason, this here, to me, and I'm older now, so I don't really remember everything from when I was a child. But this here seems almost the same size, if not bigger. And I remember, I think even Joe Lewis is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. And I think the Sullivan brothers are buried here, who are famous. And I think a lot of other heroes are buried. Well, they're all heroes, but I mean, there were some really famous ones that get buried here. They're all famous in my eyes. This is just, I mean, when you think of heroes, man, what these guys did. I mean, it just blows your mind to think what these guys had to sacrifice. Wow, <laughs> this thing really, really goes on. I see different sections up ahead here. I wanted to try to go around there, but this thing's massive here. I'm gonna go up to the um, thing here after. I'll probably do that in another section. I mean, this is amazing. It just goes on and on. There's other roads down here to get down behind these other ones. And I'm not sure how much it goes on over there. But we're going to walk all the way through this. And we'll do it in sections for you guys. Ten minute sections. They're doing a lot of work in here, but they keep the grass impeccable. What's sad for these guys is these guys came here and they never went home. They never even had their body taken back to their country. I mean, back then it was their country. kind of a crazy thought though when you think about it. Let me walk over here and I'm going to see if I can find a couple of others. William Gardner, Texas. May 24th, 1943. Ray Horn, Corporal USMC, Missouri, July 25th, 1945. Alorino T. Furtado, Merchant Seaman, U.S. Merchant Marine, Philippines, May 20, 1944. You know, when you think about these guys died side by side. Arthur Arnon, Private, Maryland, October 1st, 1942. Chief Quartermaster, wow. Albert Campbell, Jr. Chief Quartermaster, USN, from Massachusetts. December 8th, 1942. John E. Mack, Jr. Private, from Michigan, September 26, 1944. 
John Atkinson, Chief Electrician's Mate, USN, from Florida, March 1st, 1943. Here lies, in honor, glory, a comrade in arms, known but to God, missing in action. Oh, not missing in action, um, unknown soldier, sorry. Wilbur, Wilbur Daniel Brown, um, Corporal USMC, Indiana, August 24th, 1945. Let me walk up here, guys. And we're coming up on this whole new section here, and you can see it. It just goes on and on and on. And we got this little place up here. I think this is like the, the chapel or whatever. And we're right near BGC. You can see the, the jet. I'm here with Pax today, my buddy. That's who's walking with me. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna restart in the next section of the series here. God bless, guys.